in Newport. We're in the channel to cross the Uquina Bay Bar. Um, it's been restricted for the last almost a week. Yeah. We've been in here, it's been blowing a gale. And the restrictions has been 20 to 30 feet. We could have crossed it, but we decided to wait for the restrictions to lift. So they are lifted and we are heading south. Other news, we we're actually sailing. Wing on wing, doing six and a half, seven knots. Straight towards our destination and everything. We're going to California. Well, we've done uh, 180 nautical miles so far on this trip. Yesterday, uh, as far as I remember, a lot of motor sailing. Wind completely died around 2 a.m. I motored till daybreak, got up the sails, and then once we came around Cape Blanco, the wind really started kicking up. Set the speed records today, the fastest. <laughs> Eight knots going down a wave. Surf it was awesome. 25 knots to go. Head around. Looks like a, a lighthouse on a rock, but I also think it looks like a statue. I'm not sure I've been awake for quite a while. <laughs> now we're gonna head into Crescent City and hopefully drop the hook. Give you a good look at the competition. Here he is. He's an Auto Helm ST3000. His screen is not legible. These buttons do not work. These ones do. He's also been broken off there and PL'd back on. He's missing a screw over here. You got tape hanging off him. Games begin. You can see here it's only been one minute and seven seconds, and the robot is putting up some pretty good speeds. He's got top speed of eight knots, average of six three, and he's done a distance of 0.1 knots. By the five minute mark here, machine has done half a knot. Max speed 8.4, averaging 6.2, not bad. It's gonna be tough to beat. Oh, that's not good on the rigging, boys. Okay, well here we go, we're coming up to the final one knot distance. That's it, nine minutes, three seconds.
working harder than the autopilot. Well, you gotta keep warm. <laughs> factors on why I, why I beat the machine. Number one is, I don't feel the robot has the anticipation that I have. Nor does he really care about the rig itself. You know, he's jimmy jangling around up the top, knocking sails back and forth. Them all day, every day. Yeah, but you're not going to. No, and I think just because I beat him, that I will let him drive the rest of the way because he's the loser. <laughs> Don't hit that auto button for me. <laughs> yeah. There you go, pal. So I beat the robot by roughly 30 seconds and one knot. I feel like I have the stamina to go 40 hours like we did on this leg. We're going a little over 120 miles and that's 30 seconds a knot. I'm gonna beat him by over two hours. One thing that I should note uh, about an hour ago, the robot jibed the main. When it's tied off, what a preventer. Oh, here he goes. You may be jiving. I'd say I beat Mr. Robot on the quickness in responding to hazards. All around sea comfort, time, top speed, distance traveled in a certain amount of time. General all around can do attitude. The willingness to protect the rig, like the fine animal. 